and Michael Tuck will be starting in the 20, Peter he's, McKenna. He's the stiffest bloke of all time, Rodney Heath, to not be in that senior side because he played a very, very good game last week as we see the ball going up to Bacanara. Over the back is Curly Austin. Bit of experience in those two names as we see Des English on the left foot bring it towards the half-back line. Over the head of Mark Hu it goes on that half-forward line right in front of the Melbourne members stand as players pounce in on top of the ball. David Howlett is the umpire with Peter Carey today and it's David Howlett will bounce it. Let's get the view of a former Hawthorne champion himself on the, that selection, Don Scott, David O'Halloran and Michael Tuck. Well, O'Halloran can only play up back. Uh, Tuck, well, he can play anywhere, but I think it just leaves Hawthorne a little bit underdone as far as height on the forward line. I would have gone for Knights, although he didn't play well, just for a little bit of height. And that's the difference between the sides. Well, I think uh, they've probably played O'Halloran because of the strength of that Essendon forward line and the tall timber, Vanderhaar and Merritt and all them. And at least O'Halloran does play pretty close and puts pressure on, and I think that's probably why he's been played. There's Sullivan getting it out to Whitman. Chris Whitman onto the left foot, brings it back towards the pocket. Was that in the back? No, said the umpire. Peter Knights couldn't get to it. Now, here's James Bennett. Over to Bacanara. Bacanara on the right foot. Hooks it back, but puts it through for the first score of the game behind to Hawthorne. I notice they've got black armbands on. Have you got any idea what they're for? Uh, well, Peter Donigan's going to be joining us down on the uh, boundary line. I'm sure that uh, we'll be able to receive the information from him throughout the day. But let's get back to the business here in the Army Reserve Cup. And Curly Austin to bring the ball back into play for the Blues. Hartney up before acceptances. Good to see Big Wow Jones back in the side. That was Perovic went down with Hartney. Gagan sees it over the line and another throw in. Well, it'll be difficult for Rodney E to really gear himself up. He'd be a very disappointed boy to be out of that senior You're side. Surprised because, at that oh, very surprised. He was a very good. He got votes from a lot of people last week uh, against Putzgrave, as a matter of fact. And uh, well, I think it's a surprise. I thought he was a certainty to be on the bench, but still, they've got the tough job, the Hawthorne selectors and the Essendon selectors, and uh, they have to come to decisions. And every year in finals, you get disappointed players. Yep. Here's the throw in once again. Dear trying to push it over the back. Robertson claimed Gagan a hurried kick up towards the wing Millen Hanna at the back tries to tap it over an opportunity for Hawthorne went bagging through Robertson couldn't take it pushed forward by Winton out wide towards the wing flint off under pressure and taken over the line by Scott Howell so another throw in to take place as Peter and Jack mentioned in the under 19s very good conditions here at the MCG if you're making your way down I'd probably be inclined to uh, put a jumper and coat in the bag I doubt whether we'd get any rain, but who knows? It's cool, it's overcast, but great for football as Jones. Carlton's first attack down towards the half forward line. Fisted over the top by Ede, waiting down Malaxos, couldn't take it, picked up by Marcazani, gets ripped off the football and dropped it and lost it. Good umpiring as Glenn Howard did. He's got the big job down there on Warren Ralph today with uh, David O'Halloran obviously playing in the senior side as we see Howard bring it towards centre wing. James Bennett drops what he should have taken. It's in the centre area. Considine grabs it. We, I'm really looking forward to a terrific game between these two sides. Austin is playing on uh, Peter Knights today. There's a Bacanara. He'll be a danger. Now, what does young know, umpire's paying advantage here as it's brought uh, right up there towards the half-back line by Peter Kenny. It's grabbed by Bennett. James Bennett towards half forward as you would uh, imagine in a uh, final game a lot of scrambly play at the moment there's Bacanara nearly hooked it in now it's Malaxos Curran short pass to Knights and Peter Knights is right out at centre half forward he's discarded that long sleeve girl.